Gertrude Buckley was a beauty with brains, one of Milwaukee's first female real estate brokers. But around her 80th birthday, her family began noticing odd behavior. Her checkbook was a mess. She wrote checks for very much the wrong amount. She completely denied that she had any memory loss. Oh, that's ridiculous, is what she would say. Buckley is now 93 years old with advanced dementia. Perfect. I think you would like your hairdo. A controversial new study finds her illness is as deadly as cancer, and therefore its victims should be offered hospice care to spare them from futile and frightening procedures. Far too many patients experience distressing symptoms like pain and shortness of breath and receive burdensome interventions of questionable benefit in the final days of life. Let's try this one. But how do you know when someone is in the final days of life? Researchers found patients with late-stage dementia, those who speak fewer than six words at a time and are completely dependent, lived on average only 16 months. And about 40 percent were in pain. How are you feeling? You okay? All right. Advanced dementia has the same poor prognosis as terminal cancer. But only about 18% of family members said this had been explained to them by doctors. Those who understood that advanced dementia is fatal were far less likely to allow extraordinary measures, like feeding tubes and emergency room visits. If you're somebody who doesn't understand who is doing this and why they're doing it, it's going to feel almost like an assault. Dr. Greg Sachs, author of the editorial Dying from Dementia, watched his own grandmother suffer through aggressive treatments right up until she died. He's among a growing number of doctors who advocate hospice care to comfort patients such as Gertrude Buckley. Covered by Medicare since the 90s, it costs families nothing, but is used in only one in 10 patients with advanced dementia. Certainly I'm not advocating putting grandma out on an ice floe. People actually have a right to aggressive palliative care. They need somebody who is watching them, who is um, measuring their symptoms, who is responding to their pain. Because Buckley left no advanced care instructions, her daughter has been left guessing also, about her mother's wishes. I know that she wouldn't want to be in pain. I opted not to do anything that was uncomfortable for her, but just to make sure that she was really well taken care of and comfortable. Experts stress the goal of hospice for patients with advanced dementia is not to hasten their death. It's to make their last days as comfortable as possible. Katie. Dr. John LePook, John, thank you very much.